Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're just starting off your business, you definitely need software to manage documents, basic tasks, and obviously get your company email domain to look more professional. So today we will compare two of those basic softwares for managing your business processes, Google Suite and Zoho Workspace. I will do a little overview of the apps that are in these bundles, compare the features of them and also the pricing and make conclusions telling which one I prefer for using for my business. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification button because we produce a lot of useful content for you every single week. And also I have already made an overview of Soho Workspace previously. So if you're interested in more detailed explanation about all of the apps in this bundle, you can click here the link in the corner or down below in the description box. And now let's get on with the video. First off, we will compare mailing services, Zoho Mail and Gmail, and Zoho Mail will be the first one. So imagine your regular email service, but with a turbo boost. Zoho Mail takes your email game to the next level. It offers a real-time collaboration on emails with your team, and also you can work on emails while you're offline, and then it will sync up to the real time when you're back online. It offers great features, and one of the main advantages is free email domain that can help you to look more professional in the recipient's eyes. If we're talking about Gmail, Gmail is reliable and very familiar, offering a straightforward email experience. It shines in its integration with Google ecosystem, allowing you to quickly access Google Drive files and other Google services. And while Gmail supports collaborative email threads, Zoho Mail's focus on real-time teamwork within emails makes it stand out for business owners. And now let's move on to the cloud storage and first app is Zoho Work Drive, which is your digital workspace for files. What sets it apart is emphasis on real-time collaboration. You're not just storing files, you can co-author, edit and review them together. It's a fluid process that keeps everyone synchronized. It offers a huge cloud storage, filtering options, and advanced search options that can help you to find the files that you're looking for very, very fast. On the other hand, Google Drive that provides a solid foundation for file storage and sharing, while it offers collaboration, I would say that it's more suitable for personal usage and Zoho Work Drive has more collaboration features that is more suitable for business purposes. Now let's move on to business messengers and first one is Zoho Click and you can think of Zoho Click as your team's digital hangout spot. It's not just about text and chat, it's a versatile platform where you can chat, call, share files and even conduct video meetings in one place. You can make one-to-one -one calls and also switch to a group call within one click. Google Chat offers the same features as Zoho Click for chatting, but to make a meeting or a call, you have to switch to Google Meet, which is a huge disadvantage for Google Chat compared to Zoho Click. If you're comparing Zoho Sheets and Google Sheets, there's not much of a difference between those two platforms for data usage and data analysis and visualization. They offer very similar features, so there's basically nothing to compare. Both of these apps are great to use. Let's move on to word processing software and first one will be Google Docs and it is beloved for its simplicity and collaborative editing capabilities, but it lacks some features that Zoho Writer provides. For example, Zoho Writer provides a new integration with ChatGPT that can help you to create content in real time and it has its own grammar checker tool like Grammarly, but in build within Zoho Writer and it has much more advanced collaborative features that Google Docs lack for working with business documents. So in this case, again, Google Docs is perfect for personal use and Zoho Writer is perfect for business usage. If we're talking about creating business presentations, both Zoho Show and Google Slides are user-friendly and are effective for creating basic presentations. I would say that Zoho Show offers a wider set of modern templates for your presentations. But in general, both of these tools are pretty similar and are effective, again, for creating basic presentations for your business. 
In Zoho Workplace Bundle, there is also additional app, which is Zoho Connect. It's like a virtual workspace where communication and project manager intervene. You can engage in discussions, share updates, and collaborate on project all within social environment. Zoho Connect's added project management tools to help organize tasks and to ensure efficient teamwork. So that's a huge plus comparing to G Suite. If we're talking about virtual meetings and comparing Zoho Meeting and Google Meet, both of these platforms are very similar. They both offer video calls, webinar hosting, screen sharing, and integration capabilities. So both are great to use for business meetings on remote, and I would highly recommend using both of these platforms. They are basically the same. In G Suite, there is also a Google Keep app, which is a very simple note-taking app. And Zoho offers Zoho Notebook, which is an alternative to Evernote. It's not within Zoho Workplace Bundle, but it is free to use on every device. If you want to try it or learn about it more, I will leave the link down below in the description box to the video I made talking about it more detailed. So you've seen a little overview of all of the apps in each of the bundles and a little comparison of them. But now let's dive deeper into the features that both of these software companies provide in their apps. As you can see, the features in Zoho Workplace and G Suite Basic for storage and support and migration are the same. Both of the softwares offer high security and privacy features of your data. For mail, Zoho Mail offers a bit more attachment limit to your mails and offers additional features like email sharing, folder sharing and delegation and recall of sent emails. And some other email features like email forwarding and routing and active think are the same in Zoho Workplace and G Suite Basic Edition. Both of the bundle offer calendar for Zoho Workplace. It's inbuilt in Zoho Mail app and Google offers a separate app, the calendar app. And if we're talking about the notes, Google lacks a lot of the features such as group notes, sticky notes, attachment support in notes and add mail as notes. If we're talking about the cloud storage, Google offers four different plans of its bundle. And depending on the plan, you get different types of storage. For example, 30 gigabytes per user, two terabytes, five terabytes, or five terabytes per user with ability to request more. In the whole workplace, you get two different pricing plans. In the first one, you get 10 gigabytes work drive storage per user and in professional, 100 gigabyte work drive storage per user, but you can purchase additional storage room in all of those plans. So as you can see, Zoho is leading up in some of the features compared to Google Suite, but now let's compare the pricing of both of the software bundles and see which one has a better value for money. G Suite offers four different pricing plans. The cheapest one is $6 per user per month. Business Standard is $12 per user per month. And Business Plus is $18 per user per month. Enterprise pricing plan, you have to request and contact the sale for the price. And the whole workplace offers two main pricing plans. First one is $3 per user per month and professional is $6 per user per month. And you can also purchase mail only for $1 per user per month. As you can see, Zoho has a better value for money than Google does. So it's perfect for all of the business owners that are just starting up. And for all of the startups, I would highly recommend using Zoho Workspace. And also it is very scalable because Zoho also has other apps Apps, for example, a CRM system or Zoho Books for Finances and Bookkeeping. It also offers apps for marketing, HR processes, app development, and so much more. And if you want to use software that has great value for money, I would highly recommend starting off with Zoho Workspace and then integrating other apps, other Zoho apps for managing your business because they have the seamless integration within each other. And if you don't want to use, for example, Zoho CRM or other apps from Zoho, you can also easily integrate Zoho Workspace with third-party developer apps. There's a long list of the apps that you can integrate Zoho Workspace with. So in conclusion, I would highly recommend at least trying Zoho Workspace to manage basic business processes in your company. If you want to try it out, I have a free trial 
I'll link down below in the description box. And also, if you want to integrate, implement, or customize any of Zoho apps, you can book a free 30 minute consultation with one of our experts by the link also down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please leave in the comments below which software do you prefer more, Zoho Workspace or Google Suite. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button, and we will see you in the next week's video.